This is the Apple Watch Ultra. And some of the biggest questions I've had are things like, can you dress up the Ultra? Can you wear it with the suit? Can you wear it with the formal dress if you're a girl? Is it too big and uncomfortable to sleep with? Is it too big and weird to wear it outside everywhere you go for just normal, regular day-to-day -day activities? I'm going to try my best to answer these questions in this video from my first few hours with it. I do want to clarify something though. I am by no means Apple's target target audience when it comes to the marketing of this watch. I don't run ultra marathons, I don't climb big mountains, and I don't dive deep underwater. It doesn't mean that regular people like me and you can't enjoy the benefits of the biggest, best Apple Watch that Apple has ever made. Like the new features here actually make the general day-to-day -day Apple Watch experience so much better. And I'm, I'm already at that conclusion from just using this for a few hours. And we're gonna dive deep into that theme here. But before we keep going, let's go ahead and unbox this watch. Okay, so I made a poll on my Instagram, make sure to follow me if you haven't already, and I asked people whether or not they felt that the Apple Watch Ultra was too big compared to my Series 6. And keep in mind, I have like really tiny wrists and these were the results. 48% of people said it was too big, while 52% of people felt that it was just fine. Personally, I don't think the watch is too big either. I think it's just fine. I just have this hunch that when a normal person is gonna go into the Apple Store now and they see the SE, they see the Series 8, and then they see the Ultra, I think the Ultra might sell a lot more than Apple is anticipating. The design here is just excellent and looks better in my opinion than any of their other models. It's made of an excellent silver titanium with a ceramic back. There's a new orange programmable action button on the left side, which I've set mine up just to start a workout right away, but you can customize it to whatever you want it to be. As for the display, it is 49 millimeters. And when you compare it to my 44 millimeter series six, there is a noticeable difference in size that I actually like. The watch feels more prominent and used with a larger display. I've always wanted and honestly felt ready for a bigger Apple Watch in my life for at least the past two years. And I think a lot of you guys probably feel the same way. And I'm so happy to say that this watch definitely isn't too big. It doesn't feel like you're rocking some Inspector Gadget or Kim Possible Gadget on your wrist. It's small enough to still feel like a watch. I also like the fact that the display is flat and not curved like the other Apple Watches with a slightly raised edge around the corners. This makes it more secure against scratches and dinks and things like that. One of the biggest questions I've personally had leading up to this release was whether or not you can dress up an Apple Watch Ultra for a formal occasion. And I actually tested that out in this video. I put a black leather band on the Ultra and I think it looks solid. I actually really like the contrast between the silver titanium and the black leather. It works. And when I paired it with with one of my suits, I think it looks fine. I don't really feel out of place with this on my wrist. And I think it's a non-issue from a looks perspective. And this is coming from somebody who loves suits, who loves formal attire. Like my whole wardrobe is suits and dress shirts and dress shoes. I had a day job for like the past five plus years of where I've had to wear that kind of attire. And I've also enjoyed wearing it outside of work sometimes. And I can tell you that I don't think you wearing an ultra with a leather band looks out of place. I actually think it looks pretty badass. Um, but that's just my two cents. Another question that I had is whether or not you can actually sleep and lay down with the Apple Watch comfortably, because it is a bigger 49 millimeter case, and I'm happy to report that it feels just fine. Like I don't feel any real discomfort at all. Part of that is because the watch doesn't feel heavy. It's actually quite lightweight on your wrist, even though it's much bigger than my Series 6. I have a lot of trouble telling the difference between the weight of these watches. Like genuinely, I, I can't really tell Maybe it's just me, but the Ultra is light for its size, for sure. Hands down though, I am most excited about the new battery life. I use my Apple Watch every single day to track my sleep, my Apple Fitness workouts, my runs outside, 
everything. I cannot tell you how many times I've had my Series 6 die on me before a run, if it died on me midday, or if it died on me while I was walking. A lot of it is because I forgot to charge my watch, but it's great to know that now if I forget to charge my watch, I'll have a lot more leeway because this can last up to 36 hours on a single charge with normal use. But later this year, Apple is quoting that it can go up to 60 hours with a new low power mode that's coming out later this year. So pretty excited to test that out. Another game changing thing for me about this watch is for running. I live in downtown Toronto. I run about three to five times a week. And for anybody that lives in the city and they like to run, and you use an Apple Watch or even just a basic smartwatch, you probably would have had this problem that I've had too, where when you're running outside, let's say I'm going to run an easy run today. My pace that I'm putting into my run doesn't really match to what my watch is quoting me. Sometimes the watch will quote me running faster than I feel like I'm running. And then other days where I'm running hard on purpose, like maybe it's a tempo run or a fartlek run, I feel like I'm putting in more effort but the watch sometimes quotes me for a slower pace. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that the GPS signals in a big city is really challenging and spotty at times. You might have actually experienced this even with your iPhone when you're trying to navigate with maps through a big city. The, the GPS just goes wacko a lot of the time. So with the new Apple Watch Ultra, it is built in to have dual precision accuracy GPS. So it's supposed to give us better like readings and feedback when we're using it in our runs. And I also see a lot of benefits of this translating to doing normal things like our walks or even just using Google Maps or Apple Maps on your watch. Like you're not gonna have as much interference. So I think this new technology, although it's great for athletes, it will translate just very well for people who wanna do casual runs and casual walks and translate very well for people who just wanna navigate themselves around the city with their watch. And can we just appreciate this awesome night mode when you turn the digital crown? Like, come on, that looks awesome. There is so much to tap into when it comes to the Apple Watch Ultra, and I'll be providing a lot more deeper insights and thoughts in my full review in the next couple of weeks. So definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. And if you guys wanna keep watching another video, here's a link right here to my iPhone 14 Pro Space Black Initial Impressions. It's an awesome phone. You won't be disappointed by that video. But anyways, drop a like, subscribe, comment, hashtag Apple Watch if you finish the video, and I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. Peace.